Ha! I'm excited. <laughs> what? Yeah. What's going on, Slay Bays? It's your girl, Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. So first and foremost, let me just address the elephant in the room, my voice. It sounds a little bit different. Honestly, my throat hurts, my ears are throbbing because I am currently sick and it's just not a good situation. But you know what I thought would make me feel a lot better is kind of sitting down, playing in makeup. So today I'm gonna be playing with a bunch of brand new Milani launches for you guys. I'm talking complexion, brows, and lips. So this video is primarily going to be focused on complexion and not so much heavy eye makeup so if you guys are here for that and if you guys are excited for that don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel click that bell so that you guys are notified every time I upload which is two times a week every single week I upload every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and y'all don't want to miss out so with that let's go ahead and dive right into the makeup I have you guys super up close and personal right now. First and foremost, I am gonna start off with complexion. So I do have this. This is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. It's essentially a hydrating, oil-free primer. So if you look right here, you can definitely see that the primer is more of like a thicker primer. It definitely reminds me of like a sunscreen type texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this all over to prep my skin for foundation. I have tried this primer before, so it's definitely not a first impression for me and I do really really like it definitely is more of like a hydrating kind of like silicone based primer where I also feel like it kind of smooths at the same time now that my skin is nice and primed I'm gonna go in with a color correcting concealer right in this area right here to kind of combat the blues and purples so what I'm gonna use for that is this right here by Milani this is a Milani conceal and perfect light to medium zero two color correcting wheel now what I love about this is that we have four different shades we have a salmon color and then we also have some skin tone concealers that you can use to cover up blemishes or anything like that before foundation, which is really, really fun. I'm primarily gonna focus on using the peach color concealer directly in this area right here to again, combat any blues or purples. Once I have it placed, I like to just take a brush and just buff out these edges right here. For foundation, Milani did launch some new foundation sticks, which made me so happy. You guys know I live for a good stick foundation, so I'm really excited to try these out and give them a whirl. Now, the shade that I originally wanted was sold out like immediately on Milani's website, and I was just mind blown. So I got two different shades. I figured I can kind of mix the two to get my perfect shade. So I have 220 Creamy Natural. I have 245 Warm Beige, and I picked up two deeper colors just because I did want to use these to cream contour today. So I have two 280 nutmeg and then I also have 295 cocoa so first and foremost I am going to go in with a little bit of creamy natural and I'm just going to start right here in the very center of the face I'm gonna put this in all the areas I want to be more highlighted and a lot brighter like down at the very center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose and chin honestly you know your girl's pasty so this might even be a really good match for me I'm just gonna spritz my equal tool sponge with a little bit of fix plus because it was feeling a little bit on the dry side so I definitely wanted to get it a little bit damp before buffing and blending this out so I'm definitely feeling like it's very medium coverage I can definitely see my blemishes and skin imperfections peeking through this foundation but I'm definitely gonna build it up to see if I can get it to be full 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 coverage I'm gonna pick up the shade 245 what is this warm beige and I'm putting this alongside the sides of my face to create the illusion of like natural looking shadows even though it's not like a shadow shadow but it is a little bit darker than the creamy natural shade I put on all over but I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of creamy natural right now and I'm gonna continue to kind of like build you know because girl we need to be all the way beat like beat So you guys, I will definitely say that I'm obsessed with the color of this foundation. It's not too light, it's also not too dark. It doesn't lean too cool, neutral, or red. Typically whenever I'm shopping for drugstore foundations, that is a problem that I run into, but I find that this foundation right here matches my neck very, very well. So I'm very impressed with the overall coverage and coloring of the stick foundation. Now, I am gonna move on to the deeper colors I picked up within the collection. So as you guys know, I did 
pick up 280 nutmeg and I also picked up 295 cocoa just because I do want to cream contour with this. Now my skin has been very dry recently so I really wanted to experiment more with cream products which is why I picked up some deeper shades to cream contour. So I'm gonna go in with a nutmeg first. <laughs> I'm also going to take this alongside my nose to define it out a little bit. I really can't get over how crazy I look in this moment, but I'm going to go in with a buffing brush, especially right here alongside my nose, and really just start to blend out this cream product. And I will say it's blending out very, very nicely. Keep in mind, I haven't done my brows or anything like that yet. I did want to first start off with my base, which is something I never really do, but for the sake of this video, why not? With my finger, I'm going to start patting alongside the edges of where I put that cream product just to give it more of a seamless blend. And I find that my fingers help melt the product a lot better than an actual brush, which is why I am doing it this way. I'm going to use the Cream Cheek Brush by Smashbox to really buff and blend out this cream product around my temples and jawline. Okay, so after I have the majority of the cream product buff and blended out. I'm just going to go right back into that equal tool sponge and just kind of pat over areas just to give it a little bit more of like a seamless blend. I'm now going to move on to concealer. Milani dropped a brand new concealer. Honestly, it came out of left field. Didn't even see it coming, but I am about it and I am here for it. So first and foremost, I picked up two shades because obviously I ordered online and it's really hard for me to kind of determine what color I would be based on swatches on a website. So I got 130 light beige and and I also picked up a 125 light natural. So based on these swatches alone, I will definitely say 125 light natural is a light concealer with very neutral undertones, whereas light beige is a light medium with warm neutral undertones. So what I think I'm going to use is light natural 125 because it is more of a lighter concealer that I think will work with my complexion. By the way, these concealers do retail for $8.99, so they are fairly, fairly affordable this is a wand right here so it's a pretty decent wand and I'm just going to apply this directly underneath the eyes I'm gonna use my equal tool sponge to buff and blend out the concealer and I'm gonna look up Ooh, that is pretty that is really pretty I'm also gonna take some down the center of my forehead to kind of keep my face balanced because it's looking a little strange without this highlight in the very center of my face and then with my brush, I'm just going to kind of, you know, blend my bronzer into the concealer just a little bit. Yas, honey. <laughs> yes. I'm going to use this powder right here by Milani. This is the translucent light to medium powder. It absorbs oil and mattifies. Now, this isn't a new powder. It did come out, I want to say last year. I honestly don't know why I don't use it more often on my channel because it is a really, really good and decent translucent powder. It's just been tucked away in the back of my makeup drawer and I've been using what I have and what I know, but I am going to use this to set directly underneath my eyes today. I'm actually going to take this powder all over my nose and also down my forehead head, cupid's bow, and chin. I'm going to take a small kabuki and then just dust away any loose powder that just got all over the place. I think that powder set underneath the eyes very, very nicely. If I do say so myself. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with a pressed powder. I'm going to go in with the Milani Kill the Shine Pressed Powder in the shade Natural. You guys know this is my tried and true. It's what I love to use. And I'm actually just going to take it on this. This is by Equal Tools. And I'm just going to press the product into the skin. And I am essentially pressing it directly over top of that cream contour just to create a nice thin layer of powder before I actually go in with a powder product now I know what you guys are probably thinking oh you're just covering up all of the work that you did and I'm not necessarily doing that because you still are essentially going to be able to see where I bronzed and this is really just going to lock everything in place so I'm now going to move on to bronzer Milani came out with new bronzers I actually picked up two shades this one is 03 suntan and this one is 02 sunkiss honestly I can't even really tell the difference so if you guys are contemplating two over three honestly there's no uh, a really big difference between the two. I'm actually going to use three suntan and I'm going to use it on this brush right here. This is a Morphe M527 and I'm going to take this alongside the perimeter of my face. Ooh, 
that's pretty this is definitely a warm tone bronzer like very very warm it actually goes with the vibe like very very like bronzy sun kiss type feel so I'm not mad at it this is like one of those bronzers that you want to wear like during the summer just so that way it looks like you've been laying out on the beach and in the sun you know <laughs> I'm going in with a little bit more of that translucent powder directly underneath the area where I put the bronzer just to do a little bit of like a cleanup because it was looking a little bit pushed down. Taking a little bit of that bronzer, I'm just going to put it on the very sides of my nose, but nothing too crazy because again, this is more of a warm tone bronzer. And anytime I contour my nose, I do like to use something a little bit more cool just so that way it comes off a little bit more natural. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that bronzer right alongside my nose to kind of just chisel it out. Then with a little bit of powder, I'm gonna put it right alongside my nose. Yes, boo, yes snatched so I'm gonna let this bake sit on my face for a little bit and while I let it bake I'm actually gonna move on to the brows because they're looking a little they're looking a little busted so we need to shape these babies up can we please take a moment of silence Milani has finally come out with a retractable brow pencil this right here is the stay put brow sculpting pencil last year they came out with something very very similar to it but it was in a crayon form whereas this one is retractable so you do not have to sharpen it at all I pick mine up in the shade dark brown it says it has 16 hour wear it fills in gaps it's water resistant and it has a matte finish so we gonna see if we like it today so first things first I'm gonna take the spoolie end of the brow product and just kind of comb through my brows because they're looking a little rough this one's okay this one honey she needs some some TLC so if you look really closely at the tip of the brow product you'll definitely see that it has more of a straight edge so it's not circular it's not triangular on the packaging it says it has an elliptical tip whatever that means but I'm gonna roll with it I'm gonna start at the very base Ooh, that is really creamy I'm nervous because it is so creamy and I already did my base and everything Lord. So I feel like with this product, it's going to be very, very easy to fill in your brows very, very dark. So you have to use a very light hand with it. Honestly, what do you guys think of my brows? Like, oh, I went a little crazy. So with that, I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup with concealer. Nothing too crazy though. And I'm not using a ton of concealer either, considering I already put powder on my lid. So I don't want it to get too, too creepy. So let me just say for having my entire face on, this is a pretty good brow like oh my gosh i'm obsessed i really love the shape of the brow product i love that it is extremely straight so you can draw like fine hair like strokes towards the very front but the formula is extremely blendable it gives you enough play time to kind of just you know blend it out with the spoolie before it completely sets in place so let me know how you guys feel about this down below if you've tried it in the comments the next brow product I have is right here. This is the Stay Put Brow Shaping Gel. Again, 16 hour wear. It has a dual sided shaping brush and it's water resistant, quick drying and light weight. I pick mine up in the shade Medium Brown. What I'm thinking as it relates to this brow gel is that it is going to be somewhat tinted and I don't really want to make my brows any darker than what they are. So I'm gonna stay away from the very front of my brow and I'm just going to brush this through the tail. I went ahead and brushed the brow gel through my brows and I will say it made them slightly darker but I don't hate it like I do really like the spoolie and I definitely will have to try it out on its own to let you guys know how I fully feel about it if it really tinted my brows if you can use it on its own things like that so I would definitely keep you guys updated on this guy right here with my little brush by equal tools I'm just gonna brush away the bake because it's been sitting for a little minute I'm now gonna go in with the brand new shimmering face palette this is in the shade luminoso glow and what I love about this palette in particular is that it does have some highlight shades and it also has like some shimmering blush shades now you can use these as blush toppers or you can use them as standalone blush colors i'm personally going to use mine as a blush 
blush topper just because I don't want my cheeks to be super duper shimmery if you get my drift. I'm gonna first start off with highlight and I'm gonna pick up the champagne shade within the palette and I'm just going to pop it right here to give my skin a really pretty glow. I'm also gonna take the highlight right here on the very tip of my nose and my cupid's bow and also right here down the bridge of my nose. Whatever's left on my highlighting brush, I'm just gonna pop it on my temples and put some on my chin too. For blush, I'm going to go in with this matte blush right here. This is the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And I'm going to pop a little bit of this onto my cheeks for a flush of color. And to top off the blush color, I'm going to go in with these shades right here to act as a blush topper. <laughs> Before I go in with mascara, I definitely want to add a little bit more zhuzh to the eyes. Now, I said I really want to do very minimal eyeshadow, which is very much true, but I feel like they need like a little bit more definition. So I'm going to go in with the Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 03 Sun Tan on an M441, and I'm just going to rock a little bit of this bronzer in my crease to add slight definition. I'm also going to take a little bit of that bronzer on a flat definer brush and run it alongside my lower lash line. And with an M507, I'm just going to really blow out the lash line with that bronzer. And as you can see, this is a super quick and easy way to add slight definition to the eyes without going too crazy. I say that right now, but I really want to add like a deeper color in the outer V, but like I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Minimal eyeshadow ash, minimal eyeshadow. I'm going to add in just a little bit more of a sienna and then I'm just going to drag it in right here towards the outer V. And I'm just going to bring it all the way into this inner corner. I said very minimal eyeshadow, so definitely do whatever works for you. I just wanted to add like a little bit more warmth to the eyes. And with that same sienna, I'm just going to push it closest to the lash line to bring everything together. And with that same highlighter palette, I'm going to pick up this golden shade and pop it right there in my very inner corner to add a little bit of a pop. I'm going to take that lighter shade and just pop it on the lid. Yas, honey. Yas. The mascara I'm going to be using in today's video is this one right here. This is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara, and it is a 10-in-1 volume mascara. This is what the lashes look like on the before and after, like before, after. We will see if my lashes look like this. Like, honey, I'm not buying it. No, I bought it, but like, I'm not buying it. Like, are my lashes really going to look like that? Honey, we're going to find out. Yes, we are. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see my lashes? Oh, bitch. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. This might be my new favorite mascara. Like, I feel like my lashes are so long and lifted and they honestly look like curled. Like, I was going to put on a pair of false lashes, but I don't even think I have to. That's a big thing for me. I will say I'm so impressed. I don't think I've loved the way that my natural lashes look with just mascara in a really long time. Like, this is crazy. Crazy. Check it out if you guys haven't already. Milani came out with a few different lip colors. I have these right here. These are the Bold Matte Lipsticks. I have I Am Worthy 07, and I have I Am Radiant number 12. Now, I'm not entirely sure which one I'm gonna go with, but we also have a matte satin lip. This is a cream lipstick in the shade Lavish. Now, this is definitely my type of color. It definitely is a true, true nude. Like, do y'all see that? I think that's gonna look insanely beautiful with the look. Oh my God, this tastes like candy or it smells like candy. I want to eat it, but I can't. I was expecting more of like a cream cream. It definitely is more of like a cream, but it's also a very thin cream. Last but most certainly not least, I'm going to go in with my Milani Make It Last setting spray, which again is a really, really, really awesome setting spray. And this is just going to set everything down and in place. Ooh. And just like that, you guys, this is the final and completed look. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I will say that there were a lot, like, 
a lot of hits within this video. I don't think I came across a product that I didn't like. I feel like I like everything I tried within this video that was like brand spanking new, if you get me. I did not try the bold matte lip colors, but I typically do like a matte lipstick, but I will definitely try these and let you guys know my feedback. I will say the concealer is kind of just like, eh. It's not like, oh my God, I need it. Um, I do really like these stick foundations. I love the darker shades of cream contour. Like I said within the video, these give you enough play time to really buff and blend it out. So they are very, very user friendly. If you want to kind of start cream contouring, I feel like this is a good product to pick up in a darker shade just so that way you guys can kind of experiment with it because it doesn't dry down right away. It gives you enough time to really buff and blend it out. Mascara. Holy grail. Y'all, I will be using this mascara time and time again. This is the highly rated mascara by Milani. Like, I am so impressed with the way that my lashes look. Like, I was going to put on falsies, but after I put on mascara, I was like, nah. I don't even need them, you know? I can be here all day talking about how amazing some of these products were that I tried within the video. But again, I will have every single product linked down below in the description. And I will also have asterisks next to each and every single product that I know and love and will recommend a million times over. So be sure to check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Thumbs it up. Like, give this video a big ol' like for not wearing falsies or just for a new video in general. I also want to give my post notification shout out to Christina Marissa. She went ahead and left me a comment on my very first video of 2019 saying, welcome back. You are literally one of my favorite YouTubers. I could binge watch your videos all day. Team notification all day, er day. Hashtag slave base. So thank you so much, Christina, for watching my videos. I love you to pieces and I'll be sure to see you in my next video. Deuces. The outro of the outro. The outro of the outro. Y'all, we should literally do like a vlog over on the Libido's channel where we learn how to dance. Because trust me when I tell you, I don't know how to dance. I just be doing like the shoulder movement. You know that person in the club that's like, that looks like they're about to break their back? Yeah, that that's definitely me. All I do is just like pop it like this. That would be a really fun video. I can't wait to get that channel up and running. Stay tuned, sit tight. We've got some fire coming your way. Speaking of fire, some of my other videos are hot fire, so check out this video or this video and also subscribe by clicking my face right up here. It would mean a lot to me. Oh, <laughs> Bye, guys.